Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're checking out the brand new plugin by WA Production called Pumper 2. This is the sequel to the very popular Pumper plugin and right now it's a multi-effect with three different effects built inside of it and there's a lot under the hood but it's a very simple and easy to use plugin for getting great results quickly. What we're going to do in this video is process a drum loop that I have that's kind of not sticking out well enough in the mix and I want to use Pumper to make it kind of take up more space and be more present and be a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more shiny, if you feel me. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete the pumper that I have on here right now. And let's just go ahead and listen to this loop. All right, so as you can tell, it's kind of subdued. It's kind of like in the background. And it's really strange because it's getting uh, a nice peak over here in the DB meter. Like that's that's the loudest portion of the track, but it's still kind of not present enough. It's not what it needs to be. So what I'm gonna do is just take Pumper 2 and drop it on that channel. And let's just go ahead and listen to it soloed without Pumper. And here's Pumper with the default settings. So you can see right off the bat, it's already, it made it louder and I know some people are aware that louder just generally sounds better to the human brain. But you can definitely hear that there's been a big improvement in the higher frequency content. And just right off the bat, if we listen to that in the mix now. And in fact, let me just show you something. If I come over here to the session view, let me go ahead and pull this up. And this is where the drum loop is right here. And if I click this right here, it will show me the peak. So without Pumper, it's getting negative 2.89. If I turn Pumper on, Look at, it's only pu pushing it a little bit and it sounds way, way louder. So that's that's cool right off the bat. But let me see if I can't make it sound a little bit nicer. It's a little bit too harsh at this point, but luckily Pumper gives me what I need to go ahead and make it perfect. So first of all, we've got the three different modules right here. You can turn any of them off by clicking these little knobs right here. And you can also mix the levels of them. So that's awesome. If you double click, you can type in an amount if you want. And right here was the amount total. Uh, of the effect. So if we want to go super crazy compression, we can bring it up to 100. And if you double click anything, it will set it back to its starting point, which for these here in the front are going to be 50%. So not only do we have these three effects, we also have a hidden panel. If you click these arrows down here at the bottom, we've got some different parameters that we are, can adjust. For example, the compressor has an RMS setting has a mix setting and has four different modes. So punchy, fat, clean, and soft. We're on drums here, so punchy sounds right to me. I'm gonna pull down the mix to 50%. And I'm gonna leave RMS at zero. RMS uses the root mean square of the signal, which means it's gonna be a little bit more of an average. And as we're trying to compress and make kicks more uh, punchy here, RMS isn't the best idea. But if you're gonna be using this on something like vocals or something like a pad, then RMS, you might, you might wanna check out. And it's got a sliding scale between, I think it's believe it's peak compression and RMS compression up to 100%. So I'm gonna bring it down to zero again. Boom. Saturator, same deal. If we click here, we've got rise and fall, which, which just has to do with how quickly the saturation gets added. Soft clip or hard clip. I'm gonna leave it on soft clip for now because it's already pretty crunchy and I don't really want to make it too much more crunchy than it is right now because the track is kind of minimal as it is. It doesn't need to be crunchy. Stereo imager, uh, same deal. Click here and we've got a frequency crossover point and a resonance amount. I'm gonna leave it at zero for now. We can add a low shelf or the high shelf. So I'm gonna leave it on high shelf because I don't wanna be taking away from the low here, but I can drop this down if I wanted to. However, I just wanna be adding this uh, stereo content to the like the hi-hats there. So I'm gonna bring this up fairly high, you know, probably around 5,000 hertz here. And let's just jump back in and use our main uh, knobs here, main macro knobs to kind of dial in the sound that we're looking for.
And that's how simple it is. I think that sounds a lot better. Let's see how it sounds in the mix. Oh yeah, it just sounds a million times better. It sounds punchier, it sounds wider, and I like that for the minimal feel of the track, and really just sounds great. So that's a quick run through of Pumper 2 and what it's capable of on a drum track, but obviously you can use this on any instrument you want. Tons and tons of presets ship with it. Highly suggest checking it out if you need something that does a great job, that's quick and easy to use. WA Productions at it again, really appreciate it. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper, and I'll see you in the next video.